So this is what we're going to make today. How you can spawn a fireball between your hands, scale it based on the distance between your hands, and then release. So very simple. Spawn a fireball, release. Spawn a fireball, release. So let's get into how we made that today. We will close the current project and let's open up a brand new one so we can start from fresh. So launch Unreal Engine. I'm currently using 4.25.1 but we'll be using the VR template. So that should work with, I think, 4.24 also. So when it opens, select Games, Next, and we will use this Virtual Reality uh, template. This has things working for the PlayStation VR and Steam VR, as well as the Oculus VR. So there's a lot of stuff in here that works out of the box that we don't need to worry about. So Virtual Reality, press Next. What we do need to do is we need to change the quality to scalable and the desktop console target to mobile tablet. So this, this helps uh, keep on top of performance so it works nicely in the headsets. So then we just need to name our project and select a location. So I will call mine Spawn Fireball. Uh, create project. And here we go. So we will just make our own folder just to keep everything nice and clean. So create folder spawn fireball. And for the map, we will just use a map that's already already been given to us, this motion controller map. So we'll just duplicate that and we can call it spawn fireball underscore map. And we'll bring that into our own folder. And we can double click to open. So to make sure that this opens by default, let's go to edit project settings. And we'll go into maps and modes. And under default maps, just make sure that it is the, the map that you currently that you just created. So map is called spawn fireball underscore map and that now will be open by default so we can close that and then we go into a virtual reality bp blueprints folder and then we can go into this motion controller pawn we can double click to open and we'll just dock it to the window Make this a little smaller so we can see everything. So in here there's a lot of stuff. This top one sets the height for all the different headsets. So this is pretty important. This is nice to have. But everything under that we can remove. Let's remove spawning the motion controllers. Just select and delete. Underneath that we have teleportation. Don't really need that so we can delete that. The controllers input we can delete that and then the teleport rotation we can delete that so all that we have in here now is the blueprint that controls the height of the different headsets i will be using the oculus quest but it also supports the ps4 and the steam vr so let's compile and save and then we will move over to the viewport and in here we will create our own motion controller hands. And the reason we're creating our own is because we wanted our own animations. So we will have this kind of cupping of the fingers so that the fireball is spawned within those. Looks a bit nicer. So under VR origin, make sure that it's under VR origin and not camera. We'll select this and we'll add a motion controller. 
So we'll have motion controller underscore L for left. And on your details to the right, let's just scroll down to make sure that it is the motion source is set to left. With motion controller selected, let's add another component and let's add the skeletal mesh. Underscore L for left. And we can just for the skeletal mesh, we will use the hands provided in the VR template, which is the mannequin hand right. So then again, select VR origin and add a component motion controller and now underscore R for right. I will scroll down the details and make sure that motion source is set to right. And then under motion controller R, let's add a skeletal mesh and underscore R for right. Same as before, let's use the mannequin provided to us. And we'll just compile and save. So if we move in, we'll see that we have both hands kind of overlapping both being a right hand, but we can fix that. So let's select skeletal mesh underscore L. And for location, we'll just bring it back a little bit. To minus five. Rotation. Let's have 90. And now you see this is the left hand, but it is using a right hand mesh. So to flip that, all we have to do is on scale, we have one on the X, one on the Y, and on the Z, we can just flip it by pressing minus one. And there we go. So for the skeletal mesh underscore R, again, we'll just move it back on the X minus five, and we will rotate it 90 degrees. So there we go. Now we have two hands assigned to the two different motion controllers. And now that they're set up, we can go back to the back into the motion controller pawn, sorry. And we'll jump back over to the event graph. And under here we will have if you right click, we can use grab left input action and grab grab right so what these are these are the grab keys on the the oculus but they can also be used in other controllers we can go in and have a quick look at project settings and under engine we have input and under action mappings this is the grab left and grab right that we are using. So they're called the grips on the Oculus Quest. In the Steam VR, they're called triggers. But it's already been set up for us, so we don't need to touch these. All we need to know is that it's called grab left. So we can close this again. And the idea here is we want we want to press the grip on both controllers so we'll have an animation where the hands kind of create a clench a claw so that it will spawn in between those so we want to make sure that the user has selected both the right hand and the left hand so for this we'll create a variable and we can call this grab left pressed and this will be a boolean uh, we'll create another one called grab right pressed and compile. So let's bring in grab left pressed and set it. Bring it in again and set it again. And the idea here is if it is pressed, then we will have this variable. And if it is released, we can turn this variable off. Same for the right. 
we'll bring it in and set it if it is pressed then turn it on bring it in again and set it if it is released then we'll keep it off and this is just a variable that we will uh, come back to later for animations of the hands and when we want to release the fireball so that's all we need now so this is in the event graph together with the height of the headset so if we now go back and we can view this in VR to make sure that it's working so far and here we are so it's working uh, currently there's no animation set to the hands the idea here is just that we brought in our own motion controllers so that we can animate them later so here we go in the next tutorial we will look into the animations of the hands so that they kind of claw or clench when creating the fireball so see you in the next one